Welcome to Electron Online. Now for part two, we're going to assume still that we know the distance, the vertical distance from the horizontal line connecting A and B to the lowest point C. We do not know H sub D. We do know the force at the end point right here at E in the Y direction and at the X direction. And we're trying to find the maximum value for T. Now the maximum value for the tension anywhere in the cable would be where the cable is its steepest, where the cable has the steepest slope, which would be this section right here. And since we already know what these two values are, we can actually find it using Pythagorean theorem quite easily. So we'll do it that way first, and then we'll do it by trying to find the angle here, which means we need to find H sub D first, and then we'll use that angle to find, hopefully, the same result. So first of all, the easy part, let's say that here we have Pythagorean theorem. We can say that the tension in the cable on this segment right here would be the same as the tension at E or the force at E in this direction. That would be T. And we can then say that this force right here is equal to the force here, which is F at E in the X direction. And this force right here, which is F E in the Y direction. Notice that this one was 10,000 newtons, and this one was equal to 15,000 newtons. And using Pythagorean theorem, that means that T is equal to the square root of E sub X squared plus E sub Y squared, like this, which means this is equal to the square root of uh, 15,000 newtons squared plus 10,000 newtons squared and for that we need a calculator so we have 15,000 squared plus 10,000 squared equals take the square root and this is equal to 18,028 newtons of course that's about equal to 18,000 newtons Now we're going to do it again, but now we're going to try to find this angle right here, this angle theta. And to do that, we're first going to find h sub d. And to do that, we're going to use the equation, the sum of the moments about point d must add up to zero. If we do that, notice we're only going to consider this side of the problem. We're going to ignore everything over here. This is equal to, well, F e in the x direction will cause a clockwise torque. That means we have a minus F sub e in the x direction. And the distance between the line of action of that force and d would be h sub d. And then we have the force in the y direction, which gives us a counterclockwise moment about d. That's plus F e in the y direction. And the distance here would be the 15 meters. I don't want to put the meters there, just the number that makes it, makes it cleaner. Now we want to solve for HD. So we move this over here. We have HD times FE in the X direction. That now becomes positive equals FE in the Y direction times 15. And finally, we see HD is equal to the ratio of FEY divided by FEX times 15, which is... F in the y direction, that's 10,000, divided by Fex, which is 15,000, times 15, of course that's in meters, and that gives us two-thirds of that, which is 10 meters. In other words, the distance from the horizontal line connecting A and E to D, this vertical distance H sub D there, is equal to 10 meters. There we go. Now that we have that value, we can set up a different kind of triangle. We can set up a triangle of the actual physical dimensions here. We know that this is 15 meters. We now know that this is 10 meters. So we can now draw a physical triangle representing this right here. Like so, so we know this is now 10 meters. This is the H sub D. Here, this is the 15 meters, which was given up here. And now we're trying to find the angle theta and use the arctangent for that. We can say that theta equals the arctangent of the opposite side, 10, divided by the adjacent side, 15. 
theta therefore is equal to, so two thirds, take the inverse tangent, and we get 33.69 degrees. Now to find the value for t. Since we know the angle right here, and let's say that we only know one of these two values, but we do know the angle, then we can say that we have a triangle here. Let's say we have the opposite side, E sub y. That's the force at E in the y direction is equal to 10,000 newtons, like so. And we know the angle, which is theta equals 33.69 degrees. And let's say we're looking for T. Of course, we know that the sine of theta, or I can go right away to the inverse sine, theta is equal to the inverse sine of the opposite side, F E, F E sub Y, divided by the hypotenuse, which is T, Oh, that's not going to help us, is it? That's not what I want. I don't want the inverse ten, inverse sign. I actually want the sign. All right, let's start this again. What we want here is we want the sine of theta is equal to the opposite side, the force E sub Y divided by T, which means that T is equal to the force in the y direction at E, divided by the sine of theta, which is equal to 10,000 newtons, divided by the sine of 33.69 degrees, and finally T equals, and hopefully we get the same answer as we got over there. Right? So let's try. We have 10,000 divided by 33.69, take the sine of that, equals, and sure enough, 18,028 newtons, of course, which is about 18,000 newtons. And you can see there's various methods in which you can find the following parameters or the various parameters. In this case, when they're asking for maximum t, we're looking for the section that has the steepest slope or the greatest angle relative to the horizontal. We were able to use Pythagorean theorem to find the solution, or use the equation where we find the moment about d to find h sub d and then use that information on the triangle to find the angle and once we find the angle we can find the tension in that portion of the cable and that's how it's done.